slip it, slide, turn it, flip it, roll it, fire, burn it. I'm better. Brothers and sisters, by God, this is your brother in Christ, Dab Schnitzel, here with another video. In this video, I will be talking about one theory I have on why Lepidopterans canonically look the way they do and have the powers that they do in the reboots compared to the previous series of Ben 10. So, in the Ben 10 reboots, Stinkfly's appearance is completely different than in the original continuity. Stinkfly has a slender humanoid body. His body is colored different shades of blue and cyan. He has greenish blue eyes and his eyes look like the eyes of a fly. He has a light blue V stripe on his forehead, one coming from each eye, one on his nape and one in each finger, and two in his thighs, and he has two orange wings. Stingfly in the previous series of Benton had four insect-like flat legs that were green and had two green hands that were like the legs, except they had fingers. His head was black, and he had V-shapes going down his clothing. He had a large tail stinger as well. Stingfly in the original continuity also had two yellow-green wings and four eyes. Now the powers of Lepidopterans are also different in the different continuities. In the original continuity, Lepidopterans shoot goo from all eyes and from their mouths, and have sharp tail stingers that can be used to attack enemies. Their goo can be made flammable or non-flammable. The four legs that Lepidopterans have are sharp and can be used to poke holes. Lepidopterans also have 360 degree vision and can shoot goo from their eyes while moving their direction. Lepidopterans are also extremely acrobatic flyers and were agile enough to avoid most enemy attacks. Lepidopterans in the original continuity have a tough exoskeleton but have fragile wings that cannot fly when wet and Lepidopterans can't swim due to the low surface area of their legs. In the reboot continuity, Lepidopterans are also acrobatic flyers and extremely agile. Instead of shooting slime from their eyes and mouths, they shoot it from two ducks inside of their shoulders. They could also shoot poisonous gases as well. The green liquid and gases that Lepidopterans can shoot is also flammable. Lepidopterans also have bodies that glow in the dark in the continuity. Now this theory starts with the different lore on Lepidoptera and the different continuities. In the original continuity, Lepidopterans had bug lizards as their predators. Bug lizards were agile enough to catch Lepidopterans and they could spray yellow fog that eliminates the vision of the Lepidopterans and can also neutralize the goo from the Lepidopterans. Lepidopterans in the original continuity needed stingers and pointy legs to defend themselves from bug lizards as their goo was useless against them and they couldn't always fly away when in closed spaces. But in the reboots continuity, there are no bug lizards. Instead, there are plants that try to eat them. Lepidopterans in the reboot continuity made vehicles that can shoot slime at these plants to defend themselves. And since the plants can't move locations, they would have no escape from the goo. So the Lepidopterans don't need stingers or pointy legs. If their predators were still bug lizards, then they would need stingers to defeat them, as the goo would not affect the bug lizards. The goo from Lepidopterans in the Reboot's continuity is probably flammable because it would have a use against their plant predators. The hives for the Lepidopterans also seem to be dark, which is why the Lepidopterans attacked it to glow in the dark, along with their eggs. So in conclusion, Stinkfly in the Reboot has a difference in some powers and the appearance, most likely because of the different environment on Lepidoptera and the different continuities. I give a special thanks to Omnitunes for helping me with this theory. Please go subscribe to his channel. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, rate, and share. God bless.
Tonight it's going down at the club Show Now it. you know I'm about to roll to the club Show Don't you know about that Chevy on do Show it. And I really start flirting with some good Show Mostly I thought I was just playing Show I told y'all I can make them good Show